So, Bender, aka the owner of Deflect, gave me the best in Slack gear set. However, this is not free because I do have to pay Bender an absurd 5 billion blood money every single week in order to pay off my debt to him. If I don't, he's going to take one of my gear pieces back and make me wear something stupid for an entire week. And the price for this Fool Seeker set is right around 30 billion blood money, so this is going to take a long time to pay off. If you do want more information and context about this, I do recommend checking out the first in debt series, which is linked in the description. But if you already know everything, let's just go ahead and get straight into the episode. Today's video has a $50 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then make sure to comment your in-game name below in the comments section. And if you want to play Deflect for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description in order to join their Discord channel, and then you can install the game from there. So I'm missing Toros right now by doing this, but I think it's important because I... Oh shit, actually it's 15 seconds. Hold on, let me go there. I was about to go on a little bit of a ramble about some important information, but I am not missing out on 15 second Toros. That is not happening. I guess while I'm here, I can actually mention the first part of this issue that I've run into. So as you can see from my inventory, it's pretty clear that I've just been farming prestiges and I'm currently up to my ninth prestige with a maxed out stats. So I'm ready to actually get my 10th prestige. But as some of you may know, there's a little bit of a roadblock there. And that roadblock is for 10th prestige. You actually not only need a prestige token, which is 20 million smeckles, but you also need an entire Nirvana weapon set. And I did not expect to need that so early on. Matter of fact, I didn't expect to need that at all. I just thought I was going to need an advanced weapon set at the end of things. But I'm not just sitting here assuming stuff. I saw a chart a long time ago. I swear, either I made a horrible mistake when reading it, or it's just been completely outdated at this point. Honestly, I could be the problem here. It's more than likely my issue. It usually is. Regardless of whatever sort of issue happened there when it came to me reading the chart like a month ago, I just expected to use Smackles for a large majority of the upgrades towards the bottom here. I knew I was going to need these crystals and sets, but I didn't actually think I was going to need a Nirvana weapon set and a Rift weapon set. And I mean, even before then, you have to use Nirvana and Rift crystals at some point. And I knew something was a little bit up when I went through my 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th prestige when needing a Nirvana crystal, but I didn't really mention it because I didn't really think it was worth mentioning it in a single clip. I feel like that's just a little bit of filler content, but now it makes sense as to why that was happening. I do definitely apologize for that oversight. I did not think that was going to be the case. I should have probably double checked before I started the series, but you live and you learn. So we're going to have to move forward and we're going to have to restructure our goals a little bit in the first week. So I think we're going to ignore the 20k donated rank for now. Don't worry. I am going to be getting 30k in my donated rank. It's going to happen. It just might take a little bit longer now, but within this series, I will have the 30k rank. It's not going to be the hardest grind that I have to do. That's for sure. And since I'm not going to be doing my donated rank right now, I'm just going to use the cash that I would have used for that for my prestiges. But also, the prestige is going to take a while, so it's not like I'm going to instantly chuck all my money into that. I've already spent one bill on the smeckles, and I'm almost completely out, so I will have to continue to buy smeckles and to buy weapon sets in the future, but it takes a while to do that, so it's not going to be like an instant loss in cash. I'm just going to hold on to it for now, and whenever I need an upgrade for prestige, I'll invest some money into it. So I do have my Nirvana weapon set that I've bought. I'm going to prestige for my 10th time, and we're going to go ahead and work on these stats as I mentioned just a few more things and I'm very sorry for all this info dumping I know this is a lot of yapping to start the video off but I feel like it's very important information for this series to go on just so everyone can keep track of things because even me I'm not able to keep track of this really at this point I had to go back and watch the first two episodes just to see how much money I made and the problem with that is I don't show all the money I make I show only the big amounts of money but all the passive stuff like these keys I have not been showing in this type of series I feel like that's all kind of going to be left behind. I used to show myself claiming 10 mil from the coffer, but I'm not going to be able to do that anymore since we're dealing with such large amounts of money. But I'm pretty sure after going back and looking at what I earned and what I sold and kind of taking a look at my slaughter counts and all that, I think I've earned 1.2 bill so far. So let's take out 1.2 million of these platinum tokens. These are actually not going to be used for prestiging. I have to keep this for myself. The cash is what I'm going to be using for Bender. And whenever I need prestiging, I'll just take it from this token stack. And the last bit of information I'm going to dump on you guys before I really put my head down and start grinding is probably going to be the most confusing out of everything I've already said. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Try your best to follow along because we all know I'm not the best at explaining things, but every week has seven days as we know. Bingo is on three of those days, but two of them are half days and one is a full day because bingo starts Friday afternoon and ends Sunday afternoon. So technically only two days or at least two full days of bingo and that leaves five full regular days 
days outside of bingo each week so if you're still with me that's 500 mil per day to get 2.5 bill on bingo the goal is two bill i don't know if i'm gonna reach it but that's what i'm shooting for and that's gonna leave me with an extra 500 mil that i have to make which is gonna be hopefully made throughout the week with my passives here my books my keys my slaughterhouse hopefully that is all enough to finish up the weekly grind and pay out bender without having to dig into my platinum token stash okay it's been like 18 hours since that last clip i've finished up my slaughterhouse task and i've also gotten my prestige up to 12 so it's been a lot of afk training and a lot of slaughterhouse for the last day for me and i still need to make a lot of money i'm going to sell these keys off i said that i was going to save these up and just have them be passives but this is definitely not a passive collection of keys right here i specifically went out and did slaughterhouse to make money so i'll sell these off and then i have to go to the advanced raid because that is the highest money making potential that i can do right now so yes i'm going to sell off all these keys and i'm going to go to advanced raid and hopefully get like 10 crystals because i need a lot of money oh my god you guys will not believe how fucking stupid i am this entire time whenever i need to bank anything i'm doing colon colon bank and just pressing enter and i'm doing this while opening up these keys and it's sometimes difficult because i'm using one hand to click and one hand to type and i'm trying to get into my bank and get my keys out quickly i did not realize you could just press control b and instantly pop up the bank why am i so slow i say this almost every episode we know i'm not efficient with a lot of the stuff that i do and i also haven't progressed enough within the server's end game to know a lot of the important stuff but that is something i should know god damn anyways this is going to be much easier to open up the keys and much more relaxing so i'm just going to spam my mouse away and then just bank with control b throw that in there grab the keys hit my escape button oh my god so much easier anyways let's just get back into the progress i gotta sell this off i gotta make money i gotta go to the advanced raid i gotta get rich it's it's not looking good right now i spent too much time at the slaughterhouse and too much time prestiging let's be honest just got a nice little pet boat boss i haven't had this before it looks pretty cool i've seen some people using it it's definitely a nice pet to have but it's not gonna make me any money so that sucks just finishing up with these keys here i've i'm so happy i learned about that control b thing by the way it is so much better opening up keys okay well that is weird right there because i've opened up so many keys here at the uh global boss and at the vote boss and i've never really gotten any pets except for a couple of days ago i showed that i got a pet here at the global boss and i just got another one so this is like my third within just a couple of days and as we all saw just a moment ago i ended up getting my vote pet oh actually i have four of these pet jungle spirits so i've gotten four of those within just a very short amount of time and then i got the vote pet as well this is incredible i feel kind of unstoppable really but for now let's just throw down the toro jr that's my favorite looking pet so we'll keep them out one final update before going to the advanced raid and spending the next 10 hours there i do actually want to say that i'm selling 50,000 burn scrolls which is quite a bit that's going to be about 100 million blood money but more importantly i'm going to be selling my books as well i have 442 of them selling for 720,000 each that's clearly going to make me a lot of money but it also is a little bit strange because i've talked so much about getting my donator rank up and i will plan on claiming books in the future but as of right now i don't know how much money i'm going to make throughout this week so this is a testing week just to see where i'm standing whether i make the goal or I don't make the goal at least this is going to be a great week for figuring out where I'm at when it comes to how much money I can make so yes this week I'll be selling every book I get even from bingo I'm more than likely going to have to sell all the books but if I am able to breach the five bill marker at the end of this week and stuff looks fine when it comes to that then I can start claiming every book I get from Toros or Cats and I'm going to level with you guys getting 50,000 burns from that long of a slaughterhouse grind was definitely not the best thing in the world for this week of progress I mean I spent almost the entirety of yesterday doing that and getting my prestiges up. I told you it was like 18 hours and I love the fact that I have my 12th prestige and I'm trying to get to 15 as soon as possible. That way I can start grinding another world and not feel like I'm wasting my time all day. That's going to be a massive money maker for me. I mean, a single drop would be like 500 mil. That's the, almost all the progress I would make in one day just from getting one drop. But anyways, getting back on topic, the burns was definitely not as much as I was hoping for. I'm only making like 110 mil from the burns. So yeah, not, not that good. I'm going to have to get a lot of advanced crystals today just to make up for that.
Well, this is something pretty interesting right here. I was AFKing while taking a old man nap, and when I woke up, I had three Rift boxes and a Kaiser box in my inventory. So let's go ahead and open up this Kaiser box. I don't think I've opened a Kaiser box before. It's a very unique thing for me to open one of these in these videos. Hopefully, I do get something really nice. That would be great. That would be a huge boost, and it looks like I'm going... Is that a Nirvana rapier? No, it's not. It's a fucking horse. Out of all of that great shit, I get a fucking horse. Okay, cool. Let's Let's just go ahead and sell this or i guess i could put it in my bank and make it into a better pet later but yeah very interesting i don't think i've ever like opened one of those before and i'm not exactly sure why i got it oh i knew something seemed a little bit off not completely but a little bit off first of all i will say horses friend not foe i didn't realize it was tier five i thought for some reason it was tier two so that's pretty good i'm making all of my pets into a tier five deflect unicorn and i'm gonna sell these for a solid actually like a, a pretty solid increase in blood money so yeah my bad about that but i actually forgot to burn off a lot of my items i completely missed a lot all my hollow champion items that's why the burns earlier was so low i was i mentioned i was only getting 110 mil and i was like that just doesn't seem right it just wasn't worth it but that's because i didn't burn off everything my bad let me go ahead and fix this issue right here okay well you know what even though i forgot to do all that it still isn't going to end up being that big of a deal i got like 2 million burns from that basically so not the biggest deal in the world but i'm still going to make quite a bit of money from selling these pets so let me just finish converting these into horses again i do definitely apologize to the deflect unicorn it's it's not even a horse so i really did disrespect the highlight of this thing my bad let's just go ahead and um let's just go ahead and convert these and sell them it's gonna be 35 mil right there i'll put these in for four mil each and surprise surprise my trading post is absolutely stacked with cash i got three advanced crystals earlier and advanced enhancement i mean they're not sold so that's not what's bringing in the cash what really brought in the cash was my one dollar books i've only sold half of them and my burn scrolls i sold a nirvana crystal and i also have some keys i sold so I have almost 400 mil in my coffer and I still haven't even sold advanced crystals or an advanced enhancement that I got earlier. And I have an extra 35 mil and deflect unicorns that I'm going to sell. Well, shit. Okay. I, listen, you got to bear with me. I just got back from a nap. You know, I told you I had to take an old man nap. The horse is still not even that good. It's better than a spider and it's better than I what I thought it was going to be. But I mean, in that Kaiser box, there were Nirvana weapons and I could have gotten so much money. But let's just go ahead and take a look at the cash deck. We're at one. 1.6 bill so we've had three no I've, I've had four days this is episode four or episode three no it's episode three but i've been playing for four days so it's actually right on the schedule honestly that's five mil per day or 500 mil per day god damn i am stuttering i can't think straight i'm just gonna go ahead and mindlessly grind the advanced rate even more because i I just, I I just woke up i can't do anything right now so this was a very helpful message here somebody told me that i can just take my tier five unicorns to the smuckle shop and they give you one million and smuckles each i have nine horses here and that does mean that i would have had to spend like 45 mil on these smuckles so i can kind of just save myself the burden of selling these for 30 mil total and then spending an extra 15 mil to get smuckles later on it's only going to end up being nine million smuckles so about half of a prestige i really have not been utilizing selling items to the smuckle shop at all whenever i need smuckle i've just been buying them so maybe i should consider selling some items here the icons i wonder how much those sell for let's see 125k i could get a little bit of smuckle from that yeah this is interesting you know what maybe i should stop burning my items and turning them into smuckles holy shit okay meta unlocked how much do these smuckle for okay 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 let's just check out a few prices of some of these items holy shit i could have been doing this the whole time Wow. All right. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be burning anything anymore because the burns are so cheap now. I'm just going to be doing smuckles. Wow. That's actually crazy because I just did the math here. And with a dark fire crossbow, if I decide to burn this and turn it into burn scrolls and sell those scrolls, I'd be getting 6.9 million blood money. But if we go to the hall of champions and just turn it into smuckle and hypothetically sell that smuckle for five GP each, I would end up getting 7.5 mil. So not that I'm going to actually sell the smuckles, but it's much more efficient for me just to come here and burn my items off for smuckles god damn i really wish someone put me onto that earlier but here we are learning it now so that's at least a good thing there but that just goes to show you i don't have all of the end game knowledge that i should i mean i mean i kind of got thrown into the end game and i never really took the path from mid to end game so there's a bit of a knowledge gap there but at least i figured that out at least i figured it out okay so i finished up my last advanced raid kill for the day i'm at 5350 kc and i did 
start today off with 5,000 kills. I'm up to 72 advanced crystals as well. I believe in my last episode or the episode before that, I mentioned with this secret gear, I'm getting about 100 kills per hour. So not only did I do a combined total of 18 hours when it comes to Slaughterhouse and Prestiging, but I also did nearly four hours of advanced raid all in this one video. And that's not even including the time spent doing other random stuff today, like selling off my items or checking out the trading post. So I would say this video actually has a lot more progress than most videos I've uploaded on my channel. And to finish things off, a quick shout out to Chains for winning my last episode's giveaway. Make sure you message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your $50 in books.